Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for joining for another episode at Investing with All I See is W. Today, I wanted to make this video to share with you new insights on Sorrental Therapeutics, the ticker SRNE. Now, as of today, the current share price dropped by close to like 10% in its share price value. And to me, I feel like Let's say if you're an existing investor of SRNE, you can consider dollar cost averaging down if your total average cost is higher than what it currently is priced at right now. That's a good way to capitalize on positive proceeds. But I wanted to share with you some good highlights of of news data from SRNE, even though we recently had just heard about the company firing their existing uh, CFO. Now, fortunately, there is new information that SRNE has a new CFO in place, and his name is Mr. Asgar with 17 years in accounting and tax experience. And what's surprising today is IND filed its investigation on new drug application with the Food and Drug Administration for its STI 1499. Uh, for the United States territory. So that's good news for the company knowing that it's filed an IND with the FDA and now it's up to the FDA to review and assess the preclinical data. And then once the data looks good, then FDA will provide concurrence to allow for Sorrento Therapeutics to pursue into phase one clinical trials, which will then set with 40 healthy patients. So that's, that's positioning Sorrento Therapeutics ahead with many of its COVID-19 related products that they have in place with the immune medicines and antivirals, including diagnostic testings. And that's all good information with the company. And there's breaking news today because in Brazil, SRNE has just implemented, you know, its product, the Covi Shield, to administer on patients who are in the Brazilian market. So that's really good news there because I feel like the company is not only performing or trying to perform clinical studies in the United States, but it's already getting things started in Brazil where clinical trials are beginning because regulations are different in different locations, right? Now, uh, I wanted to kind of deep dive into what we're looking at here Sorrento Therapeutics so we're looking at globenewswire.com and I just wanted to highlight that today the company announced FDA IND filing for its Covigard neutralizing and high potency antibody against SARS-CoV-2 so as you can see it's August 19, 2020 here in reference to Sorrento Therapeutics, IND filing today for STI 1499 COVID guard trademark for hospitalized COVID-19 patients. So key thing is these are for hospitalized COVID-19 patients. So I feel like with this product, this pre-approved product, if or when it does get approved by the FDA, then there's a high demand for for this type of need since there are a number of patients hospitalized in the United States at this time. Sorrento has initiated current good manufacturing to produce 50,000 doses expected to be available by the end of the year in anticipation of a potential emergency use authorization. So this is forecasted to happen within this year of 2020. So that's good news here. And if this were to be granted by the FDA, then that means the 50,000 medicine doses will be produced Okay, here. So as you can see, Sorrento is also developing potential coronavirus antiviral therapies and vaccines, including Covitrap, Acemab, Covivab, Covigard, Covishield, and Tiva19, and diagnostic test solutions, including Covitrack and Covitrace. My goodness, there's just so many names out there. So I feel like that just increases the probability of getting at least a number of these products approved soon. 
and that just that's not including all the other products that Sorrentos is working on right so I know that it's working on other cancer related products and so forth all right, so I just wanted to share with you uh, insight for Sorrento Therapeutics today. And based on its current share price, you know, at the low $10, you can potentially capitalize on this because I feel like this share price will go beyond $30. All right, so thank you for watching another episode at Investing with All I See is W. Thank you.